Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm an analytics architect with the IBM Maximo development team. In today's video recording, I'm going to highlight how you can use the Maximo 7.6 preview site to become familiar with the new Maximo work centers. Maximo work centers enable a simplified view or application of Maximo components tailored for specific user personas in a responsive display. And that responsive display means the user can access a work center, whether they're using a desktop, laptop, tablet, or smartphone. So let's go right into our demonstration today and let me show you how you can capitalize on the Maximo 7.6 preview site. Well, first off, how do you get there? Well, if you don't currently have this preview site bookmarked, simply open up a browser, go to Google, and type in Maximo 7.6 preview site. This will automatically bring you to this very important page. And again, I'd highly recommend you bookmark it. As we scroll through the page, we're going to see a couple of things. First, in the middle, you're going to see a link to Maximo Classic. This is a really important link. If you want to view how Maximo is delivered out of the box, access this and you're able to see the most current level of functionality. But let's keep scrolling down the page a little bit more. And now you can see the Maximo Work Centers towards the bottom of the page. And what you're first going to see is those personas that I mentioned. And each persona has their own unique work center. Currently, there are six different personas that are listed here. And if you want to log in to any one of those personas work centers, you simply click on the link and enter the username and password. Now this again is another reason why it's so important to bookmark this page is because sometimes the passwords change and you'll always want to make sure you have the most current password when you're trying to access any one of the work centers. The other thing that I want to highlight is I'm going to show you today the service request work center and how you can become familiar with that. Well I've clicked on the browser and my new Maximo login page displays and one thing that you might find interesting is the URL is slightly different. This identifies that we're in the Maximo Work Center user interface because I see a Maximo slash X right there within my URL. But now I've already forgotten what I'm supposed to sign in. So let me go back to find out my username and password. So my username is MaxSR and times one. So let me come over here, type in MXSR times one and sign in. So what's going to happen now is I'm signed in as a persona of a service request or a self-service requester. This person doesn't spend a lot of time in Maximo and they typically access this application if they want to report a problem, a problem with an asset, a problem with the facility, or they need some assistance. You can see the active request for this user over here. And again, I can know what application or work center I'm in by the very top title here. But in our exercise today, and I encourage you all to access this work center, is to add a new service request. There's a few different categories to get you started. Well, I'm going to say heating. It's a little cold here in Boston today, so I'm going to select heating. And I'm going to say none of the above. Um, I'm just, again, I should highlight that I'm going to follow along. I don't want to tell you too much about how to use the work center. I want you to get familiar with it and you to get comfortable. So I'm going to click next. What's my issue? It's too cold here today. Please turn up the heat. That's my issue that I want to report. Do I want to add a photo or video? No, I'm pretty good at this time, but if I did, I wanted to. I could go ahead and go ahead and select that value. Now I got to say where the problem is. Well, the problem is up here in Needham, and I'm just going to set that location. Um, do I know the asset number or do I have the name of it? I don't at this time. All I know is it's too cold. So again, I'm going to skip this step. And I'm going to review. I'm going to set it as a high priority. Oh, please hurry up and turn up the heat. Here's all my information. 
and I'm submitting the request. Now, how fabulous is that? Within a few seconds, in a very modern, responsive user interface, a non-Maximo user is able to quickly enter a service request. And you can, again, go through the different components and functionality of this individual work center to become familiar with it. After you're done with that, you just simply come up here in the top uh, what, what side is this? Right-hand side, excuse me, and click Sign Out. And now I'm signed out of that individual work center, and I've played around with it a little bit, but maybe I want to try somebody else. Again, we encourage you to try the different work centers, become familiar with them. Let's try our inspection supervisor over here, and this time I'm just going to do a quick copy and paste of that individual. Oh, goodness, I should have done the same here. Um, username, excuse me, and let's open up the su Supervisor Work Center. This one is so exciting because now we have new features in Maximo where our users can create their own inspection forms and perform those inspections. So again, I'm not going to tell you a lot of details. There's a lot of information online about this, but try this. Come in here, create a form, get familiar with the new user interface, and let us know what you like and don't like about all of these exciting new features. So again, what I want to highlight is the Maximo 7.6 preview site. Please bookmark this page. So, so important. And if you're interested in finding out any more information on the work centers, check out our Maximo playlist. We have a playlist of about 13 different videos here just focused on our work centers. And we also have a number of wiki pages. Wiki pages are collections of information that detail each one of the work centers and also how you can get started in installing and setting up the security for these work centers. To find out any of this information, just use Google, search for Maximo 76 preview site or Maximo work centers, and you'll be led to all of this great information. So with that, I'd like to thank you so much for your time. Thank you.